another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I decided I'm actually just going to crack open a nice pint of the black stuff, the lovely draft Guinness, and just try and cool down in this summer heat because uh, it's uh, approaching 32 degrees centigrade. It's actually 29 degrees in the studio here. And to be honest, I am in need of a drink. But... Not only that, I decided I'd also actually review a couple of Guinness fountain pens. But first off, I think what we will do is crack open a lovely, lovely pint of the black stuff there. And I'm just going to drink this whilst on camera because this is nice and cool and I will just wipe the desk off here because it's a little bit wet <sighs> cheers but what I'm really here to review today is a couple of fountain pens so these are Guinness fountain pens. Yes, the same Guinness as that. And if I try to show you there, that's the name. So it is the same Guinness as in the drink, the black stuff. So these were just a couple of pens that I had picked up a while ago. And these were just very cheap pens. Uh, I found them on eBay. I think they were about £7 each. And I decided I would actually just buy them and obviously you're not going to get much for £7. But I think what we'll do, let's just move this out of the way a little bit and we'll try to zoom in and I'll show you these in a little bit more detail. So these just came in bubble wrap, they didn't come in a box or anything but this is the first Guinness pen and you can see there it has a lot of bubbles it's actually quite a quite a nice sort of it actually looks as though it's been in the fridge but it hasn't um, this is the actual design of the pen and that's actually making me want to go and grab another swig of that Guinness but you can see here this is actually not a bad sort of pen I guess for the price like it's not it's not an expensive pen. Uh, it has an iridium point nib. And it's just a standard steel nib there. And I would say that this is probably a fine nib. Um, maybe even towards an extra fine nib. But I would say that that is probably more of a fine nib. Now, in terms of the filling mechanism I know this is something you're going to want to know so the filling mechanism is for a seven pound pen <laughs> a small international cartridge um, so there's no international converter unfortunately with this pen probably could actually get one oh and there is also a spare cartridge so they do give you at least a spare cartridge, or one cartridge, and then one that you it does actually have a base to it. So you could fill the cartridge up if you wanted to. In terms of the size of my hand, you can see it here. It's not a bad pen. It's a plastic pen. Uh, the finial here is sort of, it feels as though it's one of these pens that you could probably chew uh, the end off of and... Uh, may, actually, maybe somebody has chewed the end off of that pen. I'm not so sure. It's a little bit on the sort of rough side there. Uh, so maybe it's been in somebody's mouth prior to it being shipped to me. I'm not so sure. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's a pen. It's a fountain pen. It has a nib. But like I said, you're not going to get much for £7. Um, I don't know if these are actually legitimate Guinness pens. Uh, doing a little bit of research, I have found some pens being offered in the Guinness um, uh, shop where you can buy memorabilia. Whether or not 
this is uh, an official one or whether or not this is an unofficial one and it's just a clone I really can't say uh, I would hope that Guinness would actually put their name to something that was a little bit more expensive than this but then again uh, I understand brands want to make a lot of money on sort of merchandise like this so if they can make enough money then they can so so that's the first pen and let me just uh, take a swig of my Guinness there you go and then we're on to the second pen so this is the second pen so this is actually more plain looking it's just a black pen but it does have the Guinness draft logo right there so if I just try to zoom in a little bit more you'll see that there so again is this an authentic Guinness pen I really can't say like it has the Guinness logo and that one also has the Guinness logo on it as well uh, and again the end here is a little bit roughly tuned or chewed so I don't know is this just been chewed by somebody or has it just come off the production line probably in China uh, like this it's a very very lightweight pen and again if I look at the nib on this again it's an iridium point tipping nib there steel nib plastic feed and again I would say it's probably a fine nib so it's probably just a generic nib and again <laughs> you have one cartridge and an empty cartridge as well so this is a cheap pen now in terms of size of my hand uh, it's not a bad size I'd have to say in terms of length and then in terms of capping it then you can or posting the cap you can do that as well uh, I think let's do some size checks on this in terms of the length we are looking at 129 millimeters the caps are around about 45 millimeters in length and then I will just take the caps off and then we will put the two pens side by side and they are identical in length and we're looking from the tip of the times about 117 millimeters in length so they are quite short pens so you probably would if you bought one of these you would probably want to post the cap on them but in terms of weight let's check the weight as well so the first one we are looking at about 11 and a half grams the second one a little bit lighter 11.22 grams and then the cap on this one the first one is 4.15 grams versus 4.03 so the second pen is a little bit on the lighter side in terms of the uninked pen the first pen we are looking at around about 7.31 versus 6.36 so actually the body on the second one is a little bit lighter uh, I can't see any reason why it would be lighter but maybe this wrap that they've put on here the painting is maybe a little bit more weighty I I couldn't really see that to be honest in terms of the pens and the caps they are pretty much identical could I swap the caps over <laughs> yes I could just goes to show that they are identical in size so this would work as well so 
I'm not going to fill these cartridges up, and I'm not going to pierce the cartridges, actually, because I'm probably not really going to write a lot with these pens. But what I will do is I will uh, dip it in uh, an ink. Um, let me see if I've actually got a black ink, because if I've got a black ink, then, uh, yeah, I've got a black ink here. I could ink it up with, and then that way, then it, it's black ink for the black stuff. So this is just going to be Lamy Black. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to dip this. So we'll do the first one. First one, or oh, the first pen here. So we'll dip this first and we'll just do a writing test. So this is quite a fine nib and it's a little bit finer than I personally would like. I almost say it's an extra fine nib to be honest. So this is the Guinness pen and I will Guinness fountain pen. Now, in terms of line variation, it's a still nib, you're not going to get much here. So, you might get a little bit. How does the nib write? Well, it's a £7 pen. Um, well, what do you expect for £7? Uh, it writes okay, it writes smooth, it writes on the fine side uh, for what I would prefer. Um, one thing I do find is that this section creaks a little bit, or the nib and feed creaks a little bit when I write. So it's not a great pen, but it's a fountain pen. So if you wanted a cheap fountain pen and you like Guinness or you like beer or you like draft, then uh, you could get one of these. So the second pen here, we'll do this as well. We'll do an ink swatch just to see. And this one actually probably needed a bit more ink. But again, this is a very, very fine nib. So Guinness fountain pen and then in terms of the line variation again this is a fine nib you could push it a little bit more but you're not gonna really get a lot and I, you know what I really do not like fine nibs I think it makes my handwriting look terrible Actually, to be honest, my handwriting probably is terrible. <laughs> it's just, it's less terrible in a uh, more wider nib pen. So, I'll just put the cap back on that Lamy black bottle. So, these are the pens. Do they write? Yes, they do. Are they a good fountain pen? Well... I don't know, I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, for £7, they're not bad. Uh, to be honest, for that price, I could probably get a Jinhao X450. The Jinhao X450 would probably be uh, a lot better. It's it's a better built pen. Uh, it's more weightier. The nib is actually better. It would be a medium nib. So, to be honest... I would much prefer Jinhao X450, uh, and I don't think I would ever say that, to be honest, um, for any pen. Uh, but it's a Guinness pen, and I love Guinness, so I really do think this is actually good. If you can pick these up and you like Guinness, and you like drinking Guinness, then uh, and this is a nice ice-cold Guinness out of the fridge, then I think uh, it's probably worth it. There you go. 
that's my Guinness finished. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.